Hey there, welcome to my channel. My name is Emma and I am a homeschooling mother of two. Today I am showing you our homeschool room. Now this room is in the basement and that means that there will be several months that this will only be used to store our books instead of actually used because we will need to be out in the sunlight. We will on those days take our school either to our living room or our dining room um, or even outside when we can. But today I am showing you how we are most of the time using this room. Okay, so first I'm going to show you just how this room is kind of set up. So we walk down our stairs and we've got this room right here. Excuse all the mess there because I am, those are things that I still need to get put away, sorted. Some of it needs to go away. So I just didn't get that done before filming this video, so I apologize. So as you walk in, you see right away we have a table here. This table is used sometimes for schoolwork. Sometimes we move it to underneath that cool thing there uh, to play D&D. &D. Sometimes we use it for board games. Uh, sometimes we use it for artwork. It's just multi-purpose. It used to be our dining table, but now it is down here. Then you see we have these floor to ceiling bookshelves. I got those at Ikea and they are the best things ever. I will leave the link below. This is not sponsored in any way. I get no kickback from made if you purchase, but I just had to share because they are amazing. <sighs> then we've got our little area with a futon and our board games and some extra tables and a shelf over there. So that is the very quick overview. If that is all you wanted to see, thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure you're subscribed if you want to see more, but if you do want to see even more of this room, stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed and stay tuned to the end of this video to see my giveaway, to see what of these products I am giving away today. Okay, so first off, this door right here is not finished. I wanted to finish, but I have not been able to find a calendar I want. I've been very picky about it. So this item here is from 31 Gifts. Um, and I'm basically going to use it with a calendar right here. Right here we have our uh, plan as far as our what weeks we are doing school and what weeks we aren't. As you can see, I've only planned through session four because of some vacations we've got hopefully happening after that. Um, then I've got some pens just so that they can be quickly reached. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to use this here for. I was thinking of printing out like a cute um, picture with a good inspirational quote for the kids. I'm not sure yet. And then for down here, again, I'm not sure. So I've had this product for probably seven or eight years. But the last four years, I could not find it. I didn't find it until we moved to this new base and so since it's been so long, I haven't quite figured out how I want to use it in our homeschool. It was used for me for like meal planning and household cleaning stuff. And I just don't need it for that anymore. Um, so I'm still trying to figure out how to use this. If you have ideas, let me know in the comments below. I would love to know. So moving on from that, we have our multi-purpose table. Um, when we moved here, we got rid of all the chairs. So I don't actually have chairs here. We just bring them from upstairs. We have some folding chairs and stuff like that. Um, while we are doing school, I try to have a candle lit 
just to bring some some uh just because I really enjoy and the kids really enjoy having a candlelit through our school day. So whenever we're down here, I try to light something. Today's is just a Yankee candle, honey clementine candle. Um, for the most part, I will only use Yankee candles because I am very sensitive to certain candles. So then moving on, here is the majority of where I'm going to show you what we have set up. But before I jump right into that, I'm going to show you the rest of the room because this part here is going to take the longest. So moving on to right here, we have our little learning station. Okay, so we have a poster that's right now. We've got layers of the sun, planets of our solar system, plant cell and animal cell posters. We've got our fractions and place value. We've got our handy dandy whiteboard. And as you can see, we've already started school. And so some of our spelling lesson notes are still up there. I keep up on this whiteboard a pen, I mean, a, a pair of scissors that are just for me, because if I don't, I will never find scissors ever in my life. I've got an extra little hook here for whatever I might need it for. This is just a cute little postcard that I've had for quite a while, and I like keeping it there just for some, some fun. I've got this adorable eraser. I want to say I got it from Lakeshore Learning, probably. Um, and it's magnetic, so it just sticks right on the whiteboard. This uh, thing that kind of looks like a mason jar with like some shiplap behind it. This I also I got from Staples, I believe, probably like four years ago now, and I love it. And this here is dry erase. I just never end up <laughs> writing on it. So I have this one here, and I also have one in my kitchen, and I absolutely love it. Um, other than that, I just keep some little encouragements here this one says the light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it which is from john 1 5 i got this printable from anvoscamp.com now it has been at least a few years since i got that one um it's one of my favorites thing favorite things and i just print it cut it out and put it on this yellow background especially with being down here in a basement i feel i need some color sometimes um, then over here I have this magnetic board which I got from Ikea. I have a second one somewhere. I had it and I misplaced it again. But it's going to go right here. And it's going to just hold like flashcards or different things that we are working on. Then over here, this I put up mostly for decor. But also because I couldn't find a better way to store or um display these i think they are adorable my mom sent me them they are actually um bubble wands but they're just so cute and so they make a perfect little display thing when they're not in use um so that is our learning station now right here we have these two boxes um the top one is my son's um box of finished things and the bottom one will be my daughter's I'm trying out I'm trying out a new way of um storing and keeping some of their things because now since my daughter's gonna be ninth grade next year I'm going to have to track her stuff for credits and such and then this top is actually a car um travel pillow that we just keep here because my son likes to be comfy so if I can make him comfy by just putting that on, go for it. And then that right there is just a small bag that we will use for the library. So nothing too special here. No, this wall is not painted. This is a military housing and we are very limited on what we're allowed to do. While we can paint this wall, um, if we did anything other than white, we would have to paint it back to white. And so for right now, I just decided to keep it. I don't care. I know it doesn't look all that pretty, but posters and swapping up posters will keep it not as ugly looking so then over here we have these two giant shelves that i got from walmart i believe i will link them below um the one on the left has some games and some science like chemistry lab things but then down here we've got um extra binders and folders in this one we've got extra pencils 
and such in that one. This one has extra, I'll just come around and show you, but it has extra, um, like staplers and a staple gun. So see, we've got some extra staples. Um, one of the office stores near us went out of town, so we were able to get a ton of these. Um, I want to say they ended up being like 25 cents each. So I picked up a bunch of those. This is just a Maj Paj of stuff. This is, again, mostly Maj Paj, but it's like um, pictures of our family and some stuff that I bought for planners and such. Nothing, really. Then over here, this is mostly computer paper. And then I have four of these different colored. Um, let me just bring it out. Ikea things, uh, frames that I'm hoping to put up in this room, but I haven't figured out how exactly I want to use them. So for right now, I just have them in there out of the way. Then down here is all of my scrapbooking stuff. And further down is learning games, like in a box, and some other scrapbooking stuff. And then the messy pile of crafts. I hate crafts. I hate the mess they make. My kids love them. So I have a craft pile. And, of course, our, my husband's sabers for fencing stuff. So we've got that. That is what's on that shelf. And then on this shelf is just games. Now I kept the games on the top that are games that I don't really want my kids touching or really playing with. I mean, categories they can. I didn't really have a spot for that anywhere else because everything's full. But like Cards Against Humanity, that's an adult game. Joking Hazards, that's an adult game. Anti-Monopoly, Risk Legacy, Risk Lord of the Rings, Monopoly, Star Trek, and How to Host a Mystery Party. Those are all fine for them to uh, see and play with, but those are my games or my husband's games, and we want them to stay in pristine condition, so they're up top. In order to touch anything on the top, they do have to ask permission. Um, all right. Next shelf, we have all of our scenic games, which are getting kind of old. Our kids don't play those because they don't understand or know any of those. Um, we've, but then we have just a bunch of different games. So like um, Battleship, uh, Factor Crap. That one's really fun to play. Uh, Turn Spell, Escape the Room, Mouse Trap, which I really want to get rid of, but my kids keep not letting me so we'll see what happens with that this year uh we've got some puzzles here like the elements the geo puzzle usa puzzle life fit board game payday board game actually that's two different versions there uh dominoes chess going down we have dominion we have kingdom builder we have headbangs we have uno we've got all our card games in there further down we have the original risk, Strategio, Strategio, Axis and Allies, a gravity maze. This box here is actually a bunch of um, D&D games and Munchkin games. That right there is our bag for D&D. So basically this whole section is board games. Now board games we do use a lot in our homeschool. So it's kind of has a place here. All right, um, moving on to this section here now this wall is not completed at all um again this is base housing i this is a room that's in a basement that was an unfinished room we are not allowed to put wall up and so obviously i have no way to actually paint that so to make it prettier i'm gonna put artwork and stuff like that so uh these are paintings that i did these are paintings my husband did when he was younger um, this is just a cute sign. I think I got it at Target a few years back. And then we love Lindsay Sterling in this house. And my husband and I were able to go to one of her concerts. So we picked that up. We also are big fans of um, RSL soccer. So we got we were able to meet him and get that signed. So we put that up. This is stuff that's artwork or stuff that means things to our family and I'm just going to cover this whole wall eventually with that just to make this all pretty so as my kids do some artwork this year we're going to put that up there and I'm hoping by the end of this year this whole wall will be full um so 
Moving down here, this is my little workstation. So I have not been able to find a better place for my printer upstairs anywhere. And setting it up and taking it down every day has been a pain in the butt. So I decided to uh, set it up here. So I picked this entertainment center up for free from a curb. I saved it from the trash man. And sure, there's some dents in, on it and it's not in the perfect condition, but guess what? It works and it was perfect for what I needed. So here I have our printer. I have my laptop, which I will only use pretty much to uh, send myself stuff that I wanna print so that I can print it from here. Or if I have, like if there's a video I want my kids to watch, then I'll put something like that up. Uh, this here is just a whiteboard, so I will use it for random things, maybe encouragement, sometimes review, just random. It's actually two-sided, so there's a lot that I can do with that. Um, we've got a lamp and some tissue, and this little section has a book of things that I'm working on for YouTube. Uh, this I use for holding my phone sometimes when I'm watching videos down here, and then just a thing of hand sanitizer so that if we need to clean our hands but we don't want to go upstairs we can just do it there down here is our morning basket um i say it like that because it's not necessarily for morning it's for whenever we get started for a day uh these are things that i can tell my kids hey go downstairs we're starting school in just a minute i will join you in a minute they can come down here and just dig through whatever's here and I will switch these out. If you saw my morning basket video, you know how I'm using those two baskets there. Um, if you haven't seen it, I will link it up above. The rest of this is uh, coloring books and um, drawing pads, Lego education thing, um, some other whiteboard stuff and stuff like that. Then in this cabinet here, we have our, I don't even know what this is called, core twist down disc. This is mostly supposed to be for exercise, but I use this for when I need um, my kids to sit still. They will sit on that and it'll help them kind of center themselves. Um, then I just have other like printer stuff. I have to refill my printer paper there because that's where it goes. So it's easy to move up into that. And then this is just other um, like laminating stuff. And then on this side, it is more personal things. So my budget box and another charger for my phone and some warranty stuff. And I still have that bottom part there that's empty. Not quite sure what I'm going to use it for, but I'm just going to leave it empty as long as I can. Um, yeah, so that is what is that section. Then as we move over this way, we have these two Ikea tables. I love them. They're amazing. They're super light. So we will sometimes move them to on this carpet um, to give the kids some writing area that they don't have to sit at a table for. They can instead come and sit on the carpet. Um, they have on top of them these adorable trash cans. I want to say I got them at the Target dollar spot like a few years ago, but I'm not 100% sure, um, but I love them. And then you see here, there's three backpacks. Um, we obviously don't go to school, so why do we have backpacks? Well, I use them for library days, for nature notebooking days, for if we're going to be traveling, we use them for stuff like that. Um, I'm actually going to be filming these two and what's in them um, probably in a few months or in a few weeks here. This one is just full of like workbooks at the moment that I haven't quite decided if I'm going to keep or if I'm going to get rid of. So they're off my shelf. I still have to put this game room sign up that we found like last year up probably the entryway, but not sure. So that is what is there. And of course, in front of these shelves, I have this really cute black futon. Um, so yeah, it turns out into a bed, so anytime we have family that's going to come visit, they've got a bed there, plus we have plenty of space still to set up other mattresses in here, and we just put another carpet down for some extra cushion. Now, since this room was not a finished room at all, 
underneath this carpet is actually concrete so we actually went and bought this carpet ourselves and so even though it's much better with it it's still a little rough so that's why we like having this extra carpet in here and that i that carpet is from ikea all right so now on to <laughs> this shelf and i'm gonna try to go through this as quickly as i can thank you so much for still watching if you are um and make sure you are staying tuned to the very end where i will show off what i am giving away today so let's just start at the top over here so these top two here are all science experiments or technology things like coding um i have some magic school bus boxes here i have some from tinker crate that we haven't finished yet this box is not doTERRA stuff, it's just a really good box for storage, and that has um, some other science -y things like that for experiments. Um, moving down, this has stuff I'm giving away. Make sure you watch till the end to see what you could win today. Um, I have our scale, I've got our factor trials, basically some math manipulatives, and then some science games. Um, and I think, yeah, this one's a language arts game. Then going further down, this is one of the shelves that I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with. But I have just one of my journals. I have the kids' um, notebook for tracking what they've done. And then I have my notebook for YouTube projects. I have our yellow notepad where I have written out um, our plans for the first six weeks. If you've not seen that video, I will also link that above and below. I have this little notepad that I used a lot last school year. And I'm probably going to get back into using this year, but I'm not 100% sure yet. And then I've just got this ruler that we've yet to open because it's so cool. <laughs> it's just presidents of the United States. Um, and then I've got some other like bookmarks and rulers that aren't being used yet just on the side here. Here I have this thing I made at Mops a few years ago just for fun. I had it in my entryway at our last house, but it just doesn't fit there anymore. And behind it I have a lot of open space. I have the Edison robot, which I have a video on that if you want to see it. Again, I will link that above and below. I've got a little tiny calculator and some other uh, office type supplies. And I just like to cover that up, make it a little bit more pretty there. This next shelf down. Oh, this fell over. This here is just a notebook that I have not actually used yet. And I absolutely love the what it says where there is great love there are always miracles so i just keep that there and it is covering up this um bionicle bionicle set that i have there uh this is a wacom wacom i can't ever say this but our drawing tablet and an awesome older book of world atlas it's adorable and i love it and i can't get rid of it then further down, I've got just books and resources, mostly books, some videos, um, like our U a history of us books. Um, down here, I've got a lot of our husband, us born books and like our elements books and all sorts of things. And you're going to see a lot of dust on these. Um, I forgot to dust it before filming this video so I apologize for that let's go back up and forget all about the dust um to our middle shelf right here so this top shelf just has these two Ikea storage things yep I love Ikea if you can't tell and I've just got the top one marked with crafts those I know are craft supplies that are mummies because they are normally more expensive or very tiny pieces and then I have the next one that's marked electronics that is extra chargers extra styluses stuff like that next up we have our bits box uh stuff and a little um birdhouse that I painted a while back down here we have my home binder which I haven't updated in a while but I absolutely love it so I'm going to probably update it and I just love this page that I made for it this shows you exactly how old this is because that's 
how old my kids were when I made this. So I've been using it off and on for years and I need to update it. Um, then I have my little caddy, which has the uh, Texas Instruments scientific calculator, some command strips, all of the extra um, things here, which I use all around this room to label things. Um, and then a lot of like, like I've got some stickers that I personally made. Aren't those cute? They're check boxes. Uh, I got some washi tape stickers that I made. Yeah, it was a creative time. I have not had time to go in and make any more of those. Um, this is something adorable. I believe my mom gave this one to me. I know she gave the other one. I'll show you later, but, uh, this one right here, she sent to me. Um, I love it. And this one is supposed to be a, a school teacher. I love it for our homeschool room. Um, these are Boyd's bears and my mom, my whole life growing up, my mom collected all of these. I don't collect these at all. I think they're adorable, but these are probably the only two I will ever use and display. Um, and I appreciate that my mom sent them to me because these two actually do have meaning to me, but that's the only reason why I would keep them. Um, going down, this is another shelf, mostly for me. I've got my Inspire, um, Bible. I do my creative, um, like Bible journaling in here. I refuse to do that in my normal Bible. It's just a personal preference thing. Then I have these two books that I've had for quite a while and I've only gotten through them, some of them. So this year I'm gonna get through these. This is just a bag of pens, and pens, and pens because I am obsessed with pens and planners. So there's that. I've got this, um, the ology book the kids and I are going to go through this year and then just some randomness like um covers for um Erin Condren planners and notepad and this is my personal like journal and them all marked let's see this one's mine so I can show you just as mom I have those all marks like that and they all have whatever we need and easy to get to um, and they just look very nice and neat and are organized there. I love that. Then down here, these are either things that we are have not gotten to or things I'm not sure we're actually keeping, but I'm leaning towards keeping and working through. Um, so like our sesquential spelling, uh, this is level two and I have level three here as well. I, we are working through level one right now. So just stuff like that is there. And the same with most of this here. And then here is a, um, actually a school music program that I bought from a garage sale from a retiring teacher. Um, and this is still used in a lot of the schools today. Um, so I really like having that. My kids just randomly go through it. And then, of course, I have to have a stool, not only because I'm short, but because these are really tall. Then, coming over here, we're almost done. Thank you all for still watching if you are. Uh, so, the top here is, so this blue one's actually empty. Yay, I love having an empty thing. Um, then here I have language arts and history manipulatives. I'm sorry about the lighting. I'm trying to get it the best I can there. Maybe that helps. Language arts and history manipulatives are in that. Then down here I have our painting stuff like paint brushes and paint dishes and uh, a whole section for my glue gun and then these little books here. And then this is projects mostly that I am working on. I am working on a curriculum all using this world religious book by Usborne. Um, we've got some coding for kids here and some doctrine books here and German pocket dictionary. This is just a mishmash of things. We've got this stop clock here. We've got our time telling thing here. We've got um, behind here, I've got some of my favorite books um, like Stepping Heavenward and um, Clean Your Boots, Sir. These kind of classic looking books and most of them are older books um then moving down here most of this is more uh books for kids to read we've got some psychology and sociology books uh, which are actually college textbooks 
Um, we have our grammar tales here and we've got these different sets of like uh, scientific books, like forensic books. Um, some extra papers and notebooks and different like games, like paper based games are in here. Oh, I've got some Pil Pilgrim's Progress and this is actually a whole Abeka thing that I found at a garage sale and haven't decided how I'm going to use it in our stuff. Um, moving down, I've got another Bible. I've got some extra tablets that I need to see if they still work and figure out what I'm going to do with them. This one is mostly Bible-based stuff like the answers books. Um, and then moving down... This here is mostly unused um, notebooks, folders, stuff like that. And then I've got um, like a couple different curriculums. Like I've got God's Design for Life, which we're not currently using, but we might later. We've got some piano lesson books. Um, then moving down here, we have our Road Trip USA books, which my kids went through and I just can't part with yet. Um, and just like mad science and, uh, United States activity book. And then this here, I have all my brave, brave writer stuff printed in. Then I've got some cookbooks and American stories and such. Then back up to the top over here, we have more manipulatives. We've got, um, these two boxes and that bits box are all for math. And we've got some chalk in those boxes there and if you guys want to see um like in depth of each of these boxes and see what manipulatives i have just let me know and i will gladly do a video on it um so then this next one we have a box of crafting supplies that is more often used than the pile that was over that way um so then we have over here, we've got the actual paint and like a ton of different glue stuff. And then we have these three shelves, which I showed you in a video with our curriculum. If you have not seen that, I will post it up above and down below so you can go and see what's all in there. And then going down to these last two shelves, this shelf is nothing but unused binders and binders and binders and some notepads yes i love it i have a lot <laughs> um, i i stock up when they go on clearance and then down here is where we have our dictionaries i've got some like california story i grew my husband and i both grew up in california um so california history is something that was very big um for our family growing up so my parents saved all of that and gave it to me and then I've just got some books that are more related to like U Utah history because we spent some time living in Utah. Um, and then this is actually a signed basketball that my dad sent me to sell. And I just have not been able to find a good way to sell it and ship it. So I still hang on to it. Um, so it's just there in the box. And so that is our homeschool room. Now, like I said, we won't always do homeschooling in this room because we need some sunlight. And during those times, we will just take what we need upstairs. I do have a shelf by our by our dining table that we can put stuff up there if I know I'm going to spend most of the days up there for like a week or so. Um, but that is basically it. And this room is set up to be our homeschool room, to be my craft room, and to be our game room, like our board game room. And so um, we play D&D &D with our kids. And so that's why I brought this in for a fun like I want to get some of the uh, flameless candles to put there and then we have these two things here that I want to put flameless candles in just to kind of give it a little cool uh, feel for Dungeons and Dragons um, but not to really overtake the homeschooling and crafting stuff so I hope you guys enjoy this. I will try to link a lot of things down below for you like this, these, um, these bookshelves and the tables I showed and some links to some different posters that are really cool. Um, now let's talk about the giveaway. 
I am so excited to share with you guys this giveaway I am doing today. This giveaway is for all of my subscribers. So in order to be uh, to enter this giveaway, you do need to be subscribed to this channel. And then go check out some of my other videos and tell me what video that you watched is your favorite so far. Um, and that you just leave in the comments below. And that is all you have to do to be entered. This giveaway is for U.S. residents. And all of the uh, rules and everything will be posted below. So go ahead and check that out. But in order to enter, all you have to do is be subscribed and answer a question of what is your favorite video of mine so far. Let's check out what I am giving away though. I am giving away all of this to one person. So exciting. So we have the Usborne Lift the Flap Times Table book. This book is my kids, one of my kids' favorites. Just a very fun way of learning or reviewing your multiplication. Uh, we have a copy of this book and it gets well loved for sure. So giving away that. Then I am giving away as well this felt food pizza. It includes six slices of pizza, one pan, and 21 pizza pepperoni slices. You can use this for learning how to count, for doing some basic fractions, all sorts of different things. So that is also included in this giveaway, along with this pack of felt money. Uh, this is really cool when your kids are starting out learning um, how to count money, how money all has different values to it. And it comes in this really cool pouch to store it all in. Very excited to give that one away. And then lastly for this giveaway is the 19 pack magnetic shapes and numbers. So you can do these on your fridge or anything else you have that's magnetic. This has numbers zero through nine, and then it has all the basic shapes. The shapes and the numbers all have the words on them saying what they are. And these are just really cool. So definitely something for most ages um, for your family. So if you are interested in this giveaway, please subscribe and answer the question below. And if you want to see another giveaway, because I actually have two other giveaways going on today, please check out the links below. Just a quick look very quickly. So I've got one giveaway going on on Facebook and one on Instagram and here's just a quick look of what those are so definitely enter this giveaway and check out the one the other ones on Facebook and Instagram I hope you guys enjoyed this if you did make sure you are subscribed like it share it if you know somebody who wants to win these products share it with them maybe they could be the winner or maybe you'll be the winner Either way, somebody's going to win. All right. Thank you all for watching, sticking along for this pretty long video. I appreciate it. Have a great day.